I've just been working, you know? Do I like Velcro? That was satisfying. tall as this goes. No, oh, oh that's no way too high. Please don't mind the drilling. Hello and welcome back to my vlog channel. Today it is actually Tuesday. It's Tuesday, January 7th. Now I did vlog a bit of yesterday. This is it. I'm looking for love and I'm Seriously though, damn. I mainly, honestly, I've been in like a wormhole of trying to, I'm kind of giving Coz a facelift, right, for 2020, which has been one of the like big projects that I've been super excited about because I feel like it's really going to just filter everything into one easy place to find everything from podcasts to merch to new playlists to blog posts that gives me new, just like content to write about every week. And anyway, long story short, I've been in like a computer vortex of uh, work the last two days, but I did vlog a little bit of yesterday. I watched The Bachelor and I went and got my feet done because I needed a pedicure really badly. I also recently changed my clock to a 24 hour clock so that it would force me to use my brain. 4 p.m. It's going on 4 p.m. I actually am making another coffee. And behind you, you cannot see it but we've got boxes. I mentioned in one of the earlier vlogs that I was getting a new couch. Currently, I'm just gonna take you guys off this tripod. Currently using a blow up mattress, pretty much since post Christmas when my friend Christine visited and then my brother visited. So I just kind of left the blow up mattress out to chill and watch TV and stuff, but the new couch is officially here. I'm probably gonna brew myself coffee, build my couch and kind of take a break from work because I've been on the computer for almost five hours straight, so. And uh, the rest of my week is pretty like Co's just focus vlog. I don't exactly know what the theme of the week is aside from work, but maybe I'll make that the theme of the vlog, you know? Let's build a couch. I bet we're not gonna go one of these weekly vlogs without you guys watching me make coffee at least once. You were always smarter I was the one to take a look I remember how it started To realize what my surprise Strange motions Like a shift in the flow In the paradise, we can work it out and see the hard times Good morning guys, what's up? It is now Wednesday, which means it's actually a just day. So we've talked about just before so many times on my channel, but every Sunday you just basically prep for the week, but I called it just day or getting your shit together because I don't know, it just sounded more badass. So um, we've been gisting on this channel for quite some time and we normally gist on Sundays, right? One of the things I actually started incorporating back in, it might have even actually been October, it was whenever I started meal prepping again, is doing a second gist on a Wednesday. Now today's gist and Sunday's gist is a bit different. I normally vlog with you guys my Sunday gist, which is a lot more kind of like, what's a good way to put it? just like self prep. Sometimes I'll do face masks, I'll do more deep cleaning in my apartment, I'll like just do that kind of stuff. And then the Wednesday gist, which is today, is normally more work-based. So if there's anything work-related that I've fallen behind on, if there's anything kind of like computer work or research I need to do, if there's any kind of paperwork or meetings or things that I just need to like line up in terms of like my more adulting life. And then one common denominator between both gist days, Wednesday and Sunday, is that I meal prep, I go for a run, and I do my shower routine without fail. That's basically like the three 
main go-to things of a gist day for me. At least that's been kind of like the latest focused of, of my gist days. So today is a Wednesday. I woke up this morning. I read in my, my chair with Benny. We went for a nice little walk and then came back and now I'm just about to head to the gym. I prefer to run inside in the winter time and I can't like, I could run longer than 5k, but to be honest, to concentrate that long with not a lot of like visual stimulation is a little hard. So I've been running just like a flat out 5k each time I go Sundays and Wednesdays. I actually did a full um, video on my shower routine back in December, so I'll link that on the screen. Enough procrastination. Let's hit the gym. Okay, so run, check, shower routine check. So my appointment of this Wednesday is uh, not too much of an adulting one, more of a self-care one, but my nails are in desperate need of a redo. Like my thumb fell off, my finger one fell off, and like the rest of them are, I won't do that to you because it's kind of gross, but the rest of them are pretty loose. So I'm gonna head over, get my nails done, and then after that we'll go get some groceries, come back here and meal prep, and then I have some work to do. Everything that I have envisioned this year for work, I'm so excited about. So I've been working a lot, like on my computer and stuff, trying to keep up with all of like my life normal things in the meantime. I don't really know what color I wanna do with my nails. This was, I mean, originally chrome, but it kind of all faded out. Lilac, I don't know. I'm definitely feeling some powdery colors. So let's go get those done and then see where we're at. Don't know what we have to do, but someone's gotta change. That makes you a fuss. Okay, so I mean, I got like my usual groceries today that I normally do. Like I picked up a bunch of stuff to basically bowl prep in a lot of ways. Just like a bunch of different vegetables that I can roast up and basically put together into bootables. So you guys have seen those groceries like a million times because that's been kind of like my go-to meal prep for a while. But I figured I would show you guys a couple of like my other favorite vegan things. I normally pick up like a bag of chips or something to, you know, have on the weekend. Recently, my favorite snacks have been apples dipped with almond butter or um, cucumbers, like mini cucumbers and roasted garlic hummus. So those have been like my go-to snacks lately. Okay, so this is like another favorite vegan treat of mine. These are cinnamon vanilla almonds. They're a little bit high in sugar and by little, I mean kind of a lot. Like there's 18 grams of sugar in a quarter cup. But I just have like a handful of these after dinner anytime I'm craving kind of like something sweet. But they're so good. Like I said, mini cucumber. And then my other recent obsession has been stocking up on kombucha. It's been on sale the last few times that I've gone to the grocery store. So I keep on picking them up. So I picked up the Cosmic Cranberry Pink Lady Basil. And just the Trilogy Normal. This is actually the first kombucha that I think I ever, like, that caused me to fall in love with kombucha. In terms of my anxiety, when I do get really anxious, the first place that I'll notice it is usually in my gut. And so I find things like kombucha help because they have probiotics inside that are good for gut health. So yeah, it's been like my recent go-to. Normally after my groceries, I would get straight to meal prepping, but there's a couple things that I wanna do on the computer, like upload this week's vlog and uh, finish off a coffee talk. So I'm gonna put all this away in the fridge, do the computer work first, then come back down here and do my meal prep. So let's get to it. Deeply upset because I did not realize I was running this low on rice. Completely screwed up my meal prep plans. So I'm gonna throw my coat and my headphones and walk to the corner store and then we will continue this meal prep. Okay, so not only was that trip totally worth it, but these were sold out at the grocery store today and they have them at my corner store, and my corner store never has these. So, total win. I totally forgot to vlog this before I kind of 
dug in, but this is my Buddha bowl of the night. It's got rice, tofu, roasted mushrooms, onions, uh, edamame, steamed zucchini and peppers. We got beets, lettuce, basmati. I don't even know what else is in here. This is just like a cluster of all of the combinations of food that have been made. Bentley's now at the vet. He was like so nervous when I dropped him off. Ugh. The girl that was working the front desk was also just in a really good mood. So I feel like, I don't know, hopefully that comforted him. I get to go pick him up around five and it's about 11 right now. So I came back home. I need to pick up some parcels. Like I said, I have about four, I want to say four hours of computer work, roughly. Well, about four hours turned into a quick six. like setback I guess or vlogging setback now that I'm doing weekly vlogs and been vlogging every single day um, my vlog camera broke I'm so pissed because it's working in the sense of like you can turn it on and it looks like it's recording video but what it's actually doing to the footage is this <laughs> So it records for about a second and then it just like freezes and stops. There's stuff from Thursday missing before I took Bentley to the vet. There's stuff from Friday missing. I think all of Friday went missing. And then I also filmed me building my new Just Finder and it just like completely destroyed that footage too. So, but that's okay because I mean, I figured with doing weekly vlogs, I was gonna run into some sort of technological difficulties anyway. But in the meantime, I can use my DSLR. But yeah, just another, just a little minor, you know, challenge that we can easily overcome but like i said i actually just finished making my gist binder the back to gist series back in august of 2018 but one of the things that i did in that series was make a gist binder and i i think i talked about it with you guys a little bit um, but basically inside i kept all of my important just paperwork and files and all of those things for 2019 so some people use like accordion file folders I find binders work better for me. So you, I keep work receipts, like a whole bunch of stuff, budgeting, and then there's some other cool things too, like 
um, memorabilia, like uh, movie tickets, just little events and memories and things like that. So now that it's the new year, it was time to build a 2020 version, which is exactly what I just did. I picked up this binder, it's like blue and polka dots. And then I actually found a couple things in my 2019 binder, like I must have done some sort of project where I printed out pictures and then didn't end up using them because I had leftover printed pictures. So I put a couple of those in the front and then I put just on pink washi tape, it says 2020 gist. I'll do a full blog post on all things Kohs, which we'll talk about that in a second too, but I'll do a full blog post on Kohs so you guys can actually see exactly what's in the binder if you guys want to make a gist binder yourself. In the front part section, like enveloped section, I just have a couple gift cards that I can use. Keep the card for the girl that does my hair. Her name's Caitlin at Edgico, which reminds me I should probably book an appointment today because my roots are getting a little wild. And then inside I just have these folders. So they're actually, this is really hard to show you guys. But I like Velcro. That was satisfying. And I had some extra ones actually from last year. So I transferred a lot of them into here. I reused a couple of the dividers from last year. And then this year I just used washi tape with like white pen to label each of the files. So inside I have two work receipts, personal receipts, um, cards, memories, and cool finds, which is probably my favorite from last year's. My monthly budget sheets, which at the end of the month I just print off each month. They're just like easy, one sheet, ready to go in here. Then I have official documents, car insurance and paperwork, which is self-explanatory. And then I have a MISC folder and like more cool leftover photos that I had in the back. I didn't do MISC last year, so this is a new addition, but this is basically where I put like little things that I don't want to throw out, but I also don't really have a crazy amount of use for them. For instance, like the instructions to my electric milk frother. That's basically how I keep everything organized and just like in one spot for the year. And it's really good come, you know, tax season. Or if you ever need to find the receipt to something, if something broke or you need to return it, um, just a bunch of stuff like that. At the end of the year, for instance, this. So these are all like the little things that I just kept from the year. My concert ticket from the 1975. There's little notes in here that Arthur used to leave me. There's movie tickets from when I went with my family. This is from the vintage camera that my sister got me. I have a card here from a subscriber that I met last year. I have a roommate note from Larissa that she left me once when I came home. Um, an aloe yoga, like a card from aloe yoga. Again, just like more little notes and things like that. You just like slip them into this folder and then you have them all in one spot that's just like super easy to find. You update it once a month, you don't need to update it so weekly. And then the other thing that you guys just saw is I don't really have like a TV or anything in my room. So I decided to use a digital picture frame instead to do my dream board this year. And then that little memory card, I just downloaded a bunch of photos from Pinterest and some of my own photos from 2019 are like pictures with Bentley and things like that and then put them onto the file folder and then put it onto the memory card and then put that in my room. That way it's just like constantly flowing through just like inspiring photos. Again, I can keep it updated all the time. I would have done it with a TV like screensaver. So if you have a TV in your room, just totally do that. But I don't. So I use a digital picture frame instead. And uh, I think that's pretty much it. That's kind of like the updates that I've done gist wise and work wise for 2020. My dream board's ready to go. My gist binder is ready to go. And now that we're like two weeks into the new year, I'm feeling very prepared. Basically what I was working on like this entire video was all things Coase. So I gave Coase a huge makeover. Now you could get classified into different coffee brews on the site and like different memberships and like just so much stuff is being built out right now that I'm just in so, I'm like, I'm so excited and I feel like it, it just like all aligned so perfectly that I ended up also vlogging or like weekly vlogging because I feel like it's documenting all of the, just like all of this coming together. And I'm just in, I feel like I'm just in such a good mood. Work's just putting me in such a good spot. And which reminds me, I, I, I have work to do today. So it's actually Monday now. I didn't really mention that, but I'm going to do my like chunk of work and then pick up next week's vlog at the end of my work day today. So I'm going to leave you guys, I'm going to leave here. I feel like we did a pretty good job pulling it together despite the amount of footage that got chucked. There's a ton going on this week that's more like outside of the house now for Coase. Like, I have a photo shoot tomorrow. I have just like 
just stuff you guys will see next week, which is basically all coming together because of this week where I, I just entered said computer vortex, you know? As always, if there's anything you guys wanna see more of in the weekly vlogs, let me know down below. And also be sure to go check out All Things Co's, the makeover, just all of the stuff that it just, it got like the biggest just caffeine jolt ever. So also go check that out. And aside from that, I hope you guys enjoyed this weekly vlog and I'll see all of you guys in the next one. Bye guys.